I think it's also to do with the, the mechanics of these houses being built. Um, so this kind of age old question about professional builders versus versus building it yourself. So just drawing on our experience of living in a, in a traditional village near near Amara West, where the houses were, all, were built of mud essentially until quite recently, is that when we asked workmen to build us a specific type of room, it was, of course, built in the same style as the rooms that they were used to, even if we'd put down quite specific kind of requests. However, it, it tended to be that the building was done by, by people who were hired for doing it, whereas the kind of plastering of the walls and so on tends to be repeatedly done by, by family members. So I think that the balance between the two is, is quite interesting. And then if you bring in state agency to it, so if we're thinking in the first phases of Amara West, where they seem to be building a few small houses on a similar plan right in the southwestern corner of the town, but then they're changed very quickly internally. So you've got this constant shifting between, I suppose it's individual, then it's family stroke household, then maybe it's neighborhood, and then you've kind of got the town and then you've got the state. And then into that, you're mixing this question of local versus, well, traditions that might be perceived as local but may have been imported a long time before so it's it's yeah it's I, I wanted to raise the issue of misunderstanding while coping so you had your own ways of living and then you see something that looks nice and you don't necessarily understand the entire functionality of this feature and then you adjust it to what you think should be its functionality the example to um, follow you, Linda, is the case of roof tiles in Israel. Um, they arrived or were imported in the 19th century to Palestine and became very common among Jewish settlements. And this is probably the most typical way of having a roof in Israel right now, though there is no need for roof tiles, we have no snow. Now, in the last two decades, you can see in Arab villages and Arab towns and cities that roof tiles became popular but they are not necessarily for roofs, but to decorate the entry to a courtyard, to your garden, or only above your door uh, entrance. And when I think about features in the archeology span of the late Bronze Age, you can see some misunderstanding of uh, the usage of pillars or uh, specific features um, inside the buildings, Canaanite buildings that might be such a case of misunderstanding, or at least Again, a local variation of what that had a different meaning in, in Egypt. I wanted to add to what Neil said, this question of uh, obviously um, kind of a, an architect or professional builders and how that works within a neighborhood, for example. Um, do we have to picture uh, this kind of higher, basically, uh, entity where families would go to and say, I want to build this kind of style house or whether you're actually really just copying from what you see next to your house basically so i think also it's a it's a difficult question to answer i i think it's a little bit of both i i don't necessarily think that things like an entrance sequence uh, where you really devote um, a lot of space to a very particular function that you're seeing there um i, I for my, from my point of view, it's difficult to say, um, we'll just build this um, because we saw that uh, in our neighbor's place, basically, um, but don't really use it that way.